This is an attack against innocent families and against our entire city. This is a tragedy, another tragedy uh, in our city this year. I promise all of the people of Toronto, but most importantly, those directly affected by this tragedy, that we will all be relentless in getting answers about why this senseless attack happened. Our entire city has been shocked by this cowardly act of violence. As I said earlier this morning at the scene, I'm of course angry, as we all are, that someone would carry out such an attack which really amounts to an attack on our city itself. A gun violence in any part of our city is horrible and completely unacceptable. I've said for some time that the city has a gun problem, in that guns are far too readily available to far too many people. It is something I spoke about very directly at a federal government conference held late last year on acts of violence. As I've said repeatedly, this is an international problem and this is a domestic problem. There are far too many people carrying around guns in our city and our region who should not have them. You've heard me ask the question of why anybody would need to buy 10 or 20 guns, which they can lawfully do under the present laws. And that leads to another question we need to discuss. Why does anyone in this city need to have a gun at all? And I know even answering that question won't fully eliminate tragedies like this, but even if we can prevent one of these incidents, then in my view it is a discussion worth having and having very soon. I think it is fitting for us to revisit this issue, yes, uh, to protect our city, but also out of respect for those who have lost their lives uh, and had their lives dramatically disrupted by this senseless violence. If I can ask members of council to rise for a moment of silence.